like big moments, you know. I, I remember when they were singing about things that most teenagers. These were had to do one thing, to live the rock and roll lifestyle. And they went from the streets. 90 million albums sold worldwide. 39 million in the United States alone. Their 1987 major label releasing debut albums in history. But before they could make it big in the mid 80s, fate had to bring them together. Then uh, we started riding bikes together and he was doing things that they do now. That it was uh, Jeff Isbell. Um, Jeff Isbell is Izzy Stradlin. Izzy moved first. He was the only one with a high school diploma. And he Guns N' Roses emerged from the Hollywood gutters in 1980. Rock, the band's musical style, on-stage presence, and bad boy image would be embraced by fans who had grown tired of the glam metal scene. As individuals, they were five talented musicians from around the country. Slashed. He just plays from the heart. He comes from the blues rock style. Never looks like he's struggling. It never looks like he's trying too hard. It never looks like he's ever kind of lost. Like a refreshing guy to see in a band because he was a, a classical rhythm guitar player. And he was always like the coolest guy. Always had girls. On stage performers that you will ever see in rock and roll. The kind of traits that make a really great front man don't make oftentimes a happy person. One in a million, that they just don't come along every day. So bad, you know, and he was nervous every time and insecure and it all came out on stage. What I love about Axel is that there's always that element of what makes rock and roll exciting. But you can't deny his appeal. GNR's live shows, on the other hand, were anything but disappointing. Uh, it's uh, just the energy on stage uh, and the chemistry. You know, it just it just works. And it's not choreographed, you know what I mean? There's more people out there, and by the end of the tour, there's there's a lot of people that are coming to see. And it's kind of like one of them. With a repertoire of songs and a celebrated live show, Guns N' Roses had come into their own. But unless they could figure out a way to sell more records, the band would not be on top for long. With Welcome to the Jungle getting a positive response, the softer, more melodic, sweet child of mine music... If you are going to take a song about urban angst, Welcome to the Jungle is as good a song as there is about. You're going to take a love song, put it up, put Sweet Child of Mine up against anything Lionel Richie's ever wrote. It's just as good as a love song. U.S., but around the world. On August 20th, 1988, GNR played the notorious Monsters of Rock Festival at Castle Donington in the U.K., where they shared... In reality, the most danger they imposed was to themselves. Drug and alcohol.